This is the making of a bismuth plate for GANS production. Um, there's the finished product, and you can see the size of my hand. It's a rather large plate. Um, I started with 20 pounds of bismuth and ended up uh, with that. And this is my second, uh, actually third, uh, bismuth pouring. And uh, I find that the plate needs to be rather thick, otherwise um, it will crack um, on the separating or pulling up of whatever medium you happen to pour it on. In my case, uh, I found copper works the best. Um, I use, as you can see, that uh, molded um, wall that I made. I use uh, something called a uh, do all plus um, it's good for up to 3,000 up to 3,000 degrees um, and doesn't even flinch when you pour molten bismuth on it um, so it, it uh, has done the job the first two times and so I continue to use it again I think that tub cost me 30 or 40 bucks and as you can see um, there's plenty left um, the first time I used wheel bearing grease uh, smeared on the bottom and on the side walls and I have to say it worked a heck of a lot better than the coconut oil I used um, the third time. Uh, I used the bearing grease first two times. This is the first time I've poured a plate that big. It's approximately 10 inches wide and 12 inches tall and as far as thickness I don't have a tape measure on me but you can see it's a it's about a fingernail or more thick um, and I have I guess average to large size hands anyway um, once I got it poured you uh, I have found rather than trying to drill into it to put electrodes in it um, I stick copper in it and, and embed it in the bismuth itself um, and those are just old springs uh, it helps to hammer them out first if you're going to use springs um, or coils I should say but uh, anyway that's what I did in this case um, I recommend some heavy heavy leather gloves and those are arm guards uh, for you cutting glass but in this particular case you don't want to uh, spill any on you you'll regret it uh, and my particular method is I cooked it on the stove and then put it in a bigger pot with some wooden blocks in the bottom and proceeded to carry it that way rather than trying to carry the pot. The pot is extremely hot even for welding gloves which I did use the first time um, but I found the welding gloves restricted my arm movement too much uh, and I can't use my fingers that well so um, I've switched to those as my safety gear. Um, and then uh, I pour it in there <clears throat> and then I'll usually hit it with some distilled water and a spray bottle uh, after I get the electrodes in it to help it cool and then I use the hammer and chisel to uh, chisel it up as you can see where the wall is knocked down on one side and uh, I just get the chisel in a little bit on the first side and I try to do it when it's still warm <clears throat> I've actually found that uh, the first time I did it, uh, peeling it up when it is completely cool is a bad idea. It tends to uh, crack and chip easier um, when it's, it's warm but solid, or I should say hot but solid. It is much more forgiving. Uh, anyway, and I will be putting it in a 10 gallon tub, like the tub it is leaning on, and I will be making uh, bismuth gans. We'll see what we get. Thanks.